Here at Lund University Biomedical Center, Hendrik Sem and colleagues have conducted their research on tubulogenesis during organ formation, published in this issue of Cell. Let's go inside and see what they have discovered. We're interested in two questions. The first one is how tubes form during organ formation. And the second question is how tubes influence cell fate specification. And in this study, we have identified a gene called CDC42, which is uh, essential for formation of tubes in the developing pancreas. How are tubes made in the pancreas? Initially, the pancreas consists of a bag of unpolarized epithelial cells without any luminal structure. Then, at a distinct time point, small openings appear that we refer to microlumens. The next step is that these microlumens expand and eventually they fuse and then rearrange into a, a complete uh, a functional uh, tubular network. Gukun. Could you explain how the process of tube formation starts? The process of tube formation starts with uh, apical polarization. This starts in a single cell. The cells start to polarize by targeting vesicles to the surface. This newly formed apical surface then spread across the neighbors and thereby they share a common lumen. How is microlumen regulated on a molecular level? What we have found out is a gene called CDC42. In that uh, knockout model, the vesicles do form and they go out to the surface, but the next step to expand the polarization is failed and thereby the common apical domain is not established and in these cells a form of a autocellular lumen is formed. So without CDC42 no tubes are formed. Does this affect the cell specification of the organ? Yes. Uh, when the tubes form, uh, the endocrine and the acinar progenitor cells are exposed to different microenvironments. But when we delete CDC42, uh, all progenitor cells become exposed to the environment that acinar progenitors are normally exposed to. And this results in that all progenitors turn into acinar cells at the expense of endocrine and duct cells. What is the significance of this study? So first of all, uh, our results will provide fundamental information how tubes form during organ formation. That knowledge will most likely be applicable to other organ systems uh, in vivo. The second aspect uh, I want to bring up is that uh, by understanding how beta cells form in vivo, uh, we also believe that this information uh, can be utilized for improving uh, protocols to differentiate transplantable beta cells from various sources of stem cells. Mm -hmm. For more detailed information, please read the paper by Sem and colleagues published in this issue of Cell.